All right, guys, clutch number one is finally out of the egg. This is a pastel yellow belly soul sucker. Well, yellow belly to a highway. Eight eggs again. Well, not again, but eight eggs. And it looks like we got at least five soul suckers. There's a couple lessers and a pastel in there. Of course, they're all yellow belly slash gravels. But uh, I thought I'd take the time to show y'all how we separate our uh, hatchlings up. Let's start with the pastelli. It's a nice pastel. <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty nice pastel. There's the yellow belly. Just put them in water, clean them up. There's a lesser yellow belly slash gravel. Another lesser yellow belly slash gravel. Alright. I believe this just to be a soul sucker. I don't think it's a pastel soul sucker way darker than the other ones. Man, it's not way darker, but it's darker than the other ones. Now these, I think, are pastel soul suckers. Hopefully the video is focusing. I believe that to be a pastel soul sucker. Yellow belly slash gravel. Guaranteed yellow belly this time. Here's another one. And then the last one. I don't know the sexes on these yet, but I'm keeping every single female soul sucker. That's yellow belly slash gravel. I gotta start proving some of these out. Hopefully, we get a little bit of yellow belly and some with a little bit of gravel. This will all go in the trash. And here they are. I just wash them up. First, let's get some paper towel, put it in a tub. All right, so we're just gonna, going to put a little bit of water in this tub, work around the paper towels. I don't want it too wet, I just want enough moisture in there so when they do shed that they'll be able to have full socks. I'll just get in here and I'll wash them off. Rub them in the water, make sure I get it all off their head. Um, one time I had not gotten all the embryonic juice off and all that. And it just gets really messy. So we wash them all up. Get them all nice and clean. Of course they want to escape. Of course, now that I'm after I'm washing them, I'm seeing different things in the, the morph, so. Yeah, that one is just definitely darker than the uh, others. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that that's just going to be a soul sucker yellow belly slash grout, which is fine. Now, this female, I've bred her two years in a row now. She's laid clutches both years. And she uh, didn't produce a ivory. It's the same pairing. Did the same pairing. No ivories, no highways. So I'm just going to mark her tub, uh, her tag, as she's not yellow belly. Okay. Okay, there's the clutch. Of course, the one I think that's just the soul sucker. See the difference? This one is darker. This one's a little bit lighter. Of course, it's hard to do one handed. Of course, the lighting in here kind of sucks. But yeah. 
There's the first clutch, and then we will just put them over into the rack. And leave them there until they shed, until their first shed. I also mark on the tub their clutch one and the date of birth. And that's pretty much it. Just take them out, wash them up, put them in a the tub on their own. A week later, they'll shed. And then I'll put them in their individual tubs, and then we'll start feeding a couple days after that. There's Mama. And then Daddy, where is he at? He's right here. That's the sire. Good old highway. Alright guys, thanks for watching.